All right, today is um, October 30th, and I believe they've changed the time zones in London. And next week, Beautiful. we're, we're going to change we're going to change our time zones next weekend, except Arizona is not going to change time zones. So everybody's going to be a little confused for a little while. But um, regardless, let me share what uh, I've been working on. Um, I hope to publish this article sometime later today. We shall see. Um, and so I'll just have some fun with you, Paula, because um, I know you know. Um, did you know that the WHO has been secretly discussing proposed amendments to the international health regulations and they have no plans to allow for public comment? Um, oh, there's a typo. See, that's why we do this. So much um, for transparency. Um, I did a video on an SGT report. If you haven't seen it, um, please do. Um, and so this I know you're aware of. These are the um, 14 nations that have submitted proposals. But what I've done down here um, is, is ask a couple of rhetorical questions, OK? Um, and I think you're digging into the IHRs, and you may or may not have gotten this far down yet. But um, did you know that one of the primary purposes of the international health regulations is to avoid mm -hmm. unnecessary interference with international traffic and trade? Article mm -hmm. number two um, says that right there. OK, well, boy, um, they didn't seem to work all that well in the past three years now, did they? Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, something got violated, right? Um, okay. Did you know that the first principle of the IHRs includes respect for the dignity, human rights, and fundamental freedoms of persons? OK, we go down to Article 3. Um, shall be with full respect for the dignity, human rights, and fundamental freedoms of persons. Well, boy, um, somebody was disobeying principle number one in article three of the IHRs, many people. And then the last sort of rhetorical question is, um, did you know that the following excerpts are actually from the IHR? And so mm -hmm. there are aspects of the IHR that I find quite agreeable. Um, mm -hmm. The purpose that we just talked about, okay? Sure, we want to stop the international spread of disease, but we want to also avoid unnecessary interference with traffic and trade. Now, mm -hmm. Bangladesh, all of the African nations, and India have proposed amendments to Article 2. Now, maybe they want to strengthen it. Maybe they want to mm -hmm. go in a direction that I agree with, or mm -hmm. maybe not. Um, I'm very curious. Okay. Can Go I ahead. ask a question? Sure. I read this this article too somewhere sometime, mm -hmm. and I was wondering what does it mean? What is the meaning of avoid unnecessary? Because are they implying that? Why do we need an article like that? Are they implying that in the past they uh, there have been unnecessary? Because to avoid interference, it makes sense. Avoid interfering. You know so, what I'm thinking? Let me tell you one thing. Excuse me, sure. let me, what I'm thinking is that the, the word, let's avoid interfering with travel, you know what it means? Green pass. You, you get a vaccine, you can travel. They're not, so thanks to the vaccine, we can travel. They're going so, to twist it. They're going to twist it in a manner. Yeah, but, but, but what then does that, it mean to avoid that, unnecessary? Of course, you avoid unnecessary. I don't. Know, what do you think? What do you, how do you interpret this? Well, you know, one of the problems that they're dealing with about this in the recent past is South Africa was a um, responsible member of the international community, and when they discovered the Omicron variant, yeah, boom, they told everybody. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. everybody, sh not everybody, but many nations yeah. stopped travel and trade yeah. with and, and and so this all fell apart because, you know, one nation does what they're supposed to do. They go, hey, we got a little, you know, got some news down here. We got a new variant. OK, mm -hmm. and everybody, all the other nations punished South Africa for being transparent and honest. OK. So, yeah. you know, this was supposed to avoid that, but it obviously failed. Okay. So, okay. Um, so okay. maybe, maybe, okay, maybe Bangladesh and India and all these, 
Maybe they found some language to make this better. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. We, we shall see. Okay. Um, article number three, basic principles. Um, you know, I kind of like this. Um, full respect for the dignity, human rights, and fundamental freedoms of persons. Right? Now, Bangladesh, um, the European Union, and India, a slightly different group. Okay? This was Bangladesh, Africa, and India. So, mm -hmm. boy, you know, in the People's Amendments, um, I've added quite a lot of things to the fundamental principles, but these nations have submitted proposals. Moving along, um, Article 23 deals with health measures on arrival and departure. Now, there's some things here that I kind of like. No medical exam, vaccination, prophylaxis, or health measure under these regulations shall be carried out on travelers without their prior express informed consent or that of their parents or guardians, okay? Um, if, if somebody is to be offered prophylaxis or a vaccination, they shall be informed of any risk, okay? We carry, should or should not? I don't understand. The they, number shall three. Be, they shall be informed. Out? No, the number three, I don't, I don't, should be carried out Without their price, should not, should say, be carried out without. No. Should be carried out without their permission. No, no medical exam. Oh, no medical, oh, sorry about that. There you go, oh, that's, how they, that's how they trick you. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, okay. sorry. So um, very concerning to me that the EU and a whole lot mm -hmm. of other folks have amendments mm -hmm. to this, mm -hmm. okay? And mm -hmm. there's more information, you know, here. Um, treatment of travelers, okay? You know, I kind of like this. State parties shall treat travelers with respect for their dignity, human rights, and fundamental freedoms and minimize any discomfort or distress associated with such measures. They don't want to change that. I mm. kind of like that. So I can take a little breath of fresh air and go, all right, there's that. Um, so general rule, article number 35, no health documents other than those provided for under the regulations or um, issued but shall be required in international traffic. Well, this sure makes it seem like they are going to want to put in some kind of change to that. Uh, what, is, what, what is their, you know, and Brazil and Mercosur as well. Um, if this says no health documents other than those provided, um, what is it they want to change? Boy, do I want to know, and do I want to know as soon as possible, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Article number 43, additional health measures, okay? A lot of, lot of things here, but it basically, this is where everybody gets confused, okay? Mm -hmm. The IHRs mm -hmm. shall not preclude the nations from implementing health measures in accordance with their national law, mm -hmm. okay? This basically says nations mm -hmm. can do whatever they want mm -hmm. and everybody thinks that the who is making them do it mm -hmm. the who is just suggesting okay mm -hmm. it says oops such measures shall not be more restrictive of traffic and not more invasive or intrusive than reasonably available alternatives that would achieve the appropriate level of health protection well those words mm. have obviously been twisted. Mm. Okay. So mm. this this one, um, the EU, Africa nations, European Union, and African nations have proposed amendments to this. Yes. Um, treatment of personal data. All right. Everyone mm. knows that data is, you know, a big thing these days. Um, both uh, the African nations, Indonesia and Japan have posed, proposed amendments to this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I put this here just because, you know, this is, I think, one of the keys. Um, even if they adopt amendments, uh, every nation can reject them just by saying we reject them. Yeah. Okay? Yes. This, this was amended. Okay, the time frame in which to do it has been changed from 18 months to 10 months. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But, um, you know, what we've got to do is remain vigilant. Okay, these people are pretending to be public servants, but they're really trying to gain control. And mm -hmm. so um, I mm -hmm. will um, uh, stop the share and I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you very much.